channel this is Sangeeta and today we will deal with the free air correction as well as the bouquet correction okay so uh, what does free air correction deals with it deals with the elevation factor so free air correction deals with the elevation factor what is elevation factor this is a mountain and we take a reference main sea level over here so with increasing height density will decrease and gravity will also decrease because density has direct relationship with the uh, gravity so this is the basic uh, funda for this free air correction that with increasing height density will decrease and gravity will also decrease so this will cause the anomaly over that area if we are measuring uh, some underground uh, ore bodies uh, like which rocks are uh, below the underground surface so these uh, anomaly uh, we have to uh, remove this anomaly by using this uh, free air correction factor okay so if the gravity is increasing we have to remove that value by subtracting the value which we are getting over there okay and if our uh, gravity is decreasing so we have to add that value so that we can compensate the, uh, that value which has been lacking in that area so here i have drawn this block so i will draw the reference level over here and plot this at mean sea level you can see that height of this block is greater than this one so you can assume that this is a mountain okay and this is the oceanic surface and the mountain will have this h1 will have higher height and we are we have plotted our base station over here uh, which is a gravimeter and we are looking for the gravity over here so the height of this mountain is greater than the height of the base station we have uh, put over here and the gravity of base station which is here in the oceanic whose height is less than the mountain will be uh, greater than the g1 because g1 has higher height and higher height means density will be uh, lesser and gravity will be lesser so uh, the gbs which is uh, gravity as base station will have higher gravity as compared to the mountain so uh, if we are having if g1 has lesser gravity than the base station so if g is less so we will add that value okay so free air correction for this will be we will use plus sign for this and 0.3086 into the delta h what is delta h this is delta h the elevation difference delta h is h1 minus hbs height of the base station and height of the mountain for the bogey correction we will take the uh, density factor I will show you by the diagram. This is a mountain. This is mean sea level. Below this lie the ocean. This is a mountain. Okay. Uh, in, in the Google direction what happened that we know that mountain will have uh, lesser density. But if some rock of different density lie over here, it will have higher density as compared to this one. So in Bogey anomaly with increasing height, height, the density of the above mean sea level will be higher and gravity will also be high. Okay. And below mean sea level, height is less, density is also less. So gravity will also be less below mean sea level so as i have told for the free air correction same from uh, same funda will apply over here that if gravity is increasing in that area so we have to uh, for the correction we have to subtract that value okay so we will for correction we will minus that value if gravity is increasing that in that area and 
if gravity is decreasing we will add that value for the correction formula for book correction 2 pi rho g h so this rho is for the density and g is gravitational constant and h is the elevation and this is also you have seen in the books uh, Bouguer correction equal to 0 0.0491 into delta h into rho this is the elevation this is uh, the density contrast and uh, you can also rewrite this formula by multiplying the value for the uh, density of continental crust which is 2.67 gram per cc and by multiplying this value with this you will get this formula for bouquet correction equal to 0 0.112 milli uh, and unit will be in milligals into h do like share and subscribe my channel and do hit the bell icon